Hello everyone, and in this episode, we're going to talk about indexing again. Since I just covered indexing using GSA Search Engine Indexer and the companion product, the URL Redirect Pro, I thought it would also be a good idea to show you guys how to use the Rapid Indexer that comes with Scrapebox. So, that being said, this is Dark Marketing and I'm your host Big Dom. Let's get started. Now guys, this is not going to be a long video because this is a very straightforward process. Okay, and it doesn't require any premium plugins. Uh, it's one of the basic add-ons that are in here. So what you want to do is go down here. You see we got the Rapid Indexer. But before we launch that, what we want to do is uh, show available add-ons and go down Here we go, Rapid Indexer. And once you've selected this, down here on the bottom, this is where you can get a small list of indexing resources. And they give you about 2,500 links. That is really sufficient, okay? Now, I also just recently acquired another list that has about 90,000 links. And after I removed the duplicate domains, it has about 9,000. I haven't tested it, but I'll probably be making that available for anybody that buys... Uh, any membership product on dark marketing but this will give anybody a good start with this list make no mistake about it so that being said what we're gonna do is we're gonna now launch the add-on rapid indexer and what we want to do is load our indexers from a file which I've got mine on my oh that's not the one let me go to my desktop and sources and this is the list that i downloaded from these guys and there's about 2500 you could load that into here in fact you know what let me stop a second let's do that let's just import them in here just so you can see them okay see that and let me just zoom in here I'll zoom in on the video but you can see the format of the links and we got just a little over 2500 there okay so just so you get an idea of what that looks like now let's go back load the rapid indexer up again Load our indexers again. And now we're going to want to load our websites. So, I got some on my desktop here. Let's see, backlinks, Shazam, and, well, I can do 500 here easily. So let's go, boom. And there we go. And we are off and running, okay? Now, this is just another reason why Scrapebox is like the Swiss Army knife tool to have in your arsenal. Because you're going to find a lot of day-to-day -day purposes in this with this software, regardless of what the other softwares are that you use. Whether you use GSA Website Contact, Search Engine Ranker... Write down the money robot. You know, you're know you going to take those URL lists and you're going to import them into these types of things and run it, okay? Now, obviously, we've got here, looks like I got a million, uh, 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 14 million, whoosh, 14 million. Well, quite a few. So you can see the multiples that came out of this from this list. And that's going to probably run for a long time. So, as you can understand, you're going to want to break those metrics down. Run your list in smaller groups. Find the right sort of progress number. But I just wanted to outline the basic steps. Generally, just to be, you know, full disclosure, when I index my backlinks, I prefer to use the GSA search engine uh, indexer. And because I like to use the URL redirect pro and wrap it with the keywords. And just you know run that like an animal letting that sort of you know create a, a a worldwide bubbling effect over the course of days so with this generally with this tool when i've run it it's when 
when I want to take a group of uh, blog post links, you know, a large quantity and run a few like 50 at a time, 100 at a time. Sometimes when I get new clients that have extensive blog portfolios on their websites and I want to start running groups uh, pages, you know, I might run 10, 20 at a time, and just use the basic index index list on this. I found it to be pretty, works very well. Guys, that really covers it for this video. Like I said, it was short, but I wanted to put that out there because I probably should have put it in at the end of the last video since it's, you know, just a few minutes really to cover the process using Scrapebox. But it's a little different tool, and you're going to find, you know, you're going to use it for the, the smaller things that you want to index, or even just a new web page. So that being said, that's it for today, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to give us a, a like and to subscribe if you like the content on this channel. Thanks again.